All right, while well, we are partnering right now with the FT to bring you Lex on Bloomberg, you get a sneak peek at the Financial Times flagship column a day early. We're going to continue right now on this focus on Dubai. Just how bad is it? Richard Stoven Bradford joins us now from London with more. Richard, glad to talk to you. So can you answer that first general basic question? I mean, how bad is it? It's bad. I mean, the property side is almost the forgettable part because we can all go and buy a cheap property there one day. But Deirdre, the main point is, what does this spell for Dubai as a financial services hub? It's been building itself up as that as a regional hub for quite some years now. And really, I think its seriousness has got to be questioned. There's been really a very poor response by the Emirate and by regulators. We only this morning got a, a, a undertaking from the UAE Central Bank to guarantee liquidity to foreign and local banks. The more important part there is the local banks because proportionately they have a very much higher exposure to the Dubai market. Richard, I want to stop you there because as you said, the central bank came out and said it would support the banks, did not specifically say it would directly support Dubai. How important a distinction is this? I think, the, if you like, the banks support Dubai, so uh, it's one thing after another. Dubai itself is not oil rich, uh, unlike its neighbour Abu Dhabi, which is oil rich, it doesn't have that cash. This is a, this is a financial services centre and a property and tourism market built on cheap credit provided by banks within the region particularly and then to, to a greater extent European banks as the foreign banks. So HSBC, um, Royal Bank of Scotland and Standard Chartered would be the most exposed of the European banks. Richard, the question about Abu Dhabi really is important here. What's the likelihood that Abu Dhabi is going to step up beyond this UAE central bank bailout and offer Dubai more assistance and possibly even bail out Dubai world? It, it has the wherewithal. The difficulty is that, that Dubai needs to save face here. It doesn't like turning to its richer neighbour for help. The next problem is that we haven't so far seen a coordinated federal response across the seven emirates that form the United Arab Emirates. And that is the greater worry. What I think will come is some kind of federated federal response with perhaps Abu Dhabi taking the lead but it's going to have to be done in a very diplomatic way so that the UAE appears to be doing it but actually we'll know that behind the scenes and that's where much is happening now it's going to be UAE it's going to be Abu Dhabi stumping up the cash yet again Richard we thank you so much Richard Stoven Bradford joining us there from London from the Financial Times